Our friend Bobby Gilday asked, what is the difference between retinol with an O and retinol with an A, which is stronger? If you look at the actual mechanism, the retinoid receptor, so you've got retinoic acid, which is direct molecule that's interacting with that receptor, then you've got retinol, and then retinol, so that's two steps removed, while retinol is only one. Retinol, theoretically, should be stronger. Retinol is very, very, very unstable. Retinol is already a very unstable guy, and retinol is even more so. And with that means, it doesn't have as long of a history in clinical testing. When retinol has been benched directly, with trentin or retinoic acid so you really understand the dosage effect and what benefits you're getting but that's not quite the case for retinol so we would say generally speaking we still prefer dabbling in the retinol realm for that reason retinol has been around a lot longer there's a lot more work being done to stabilize it hence why we think this is a great first step to look into before even getting into retinol so these are some things to keep in mind when you're deciding between the two but if you are curious we discuss this a lot more on the podcast to clarify and hopefully help you along your retinoid journey